But I want to spend some time today talking a little bit about immigration. Because there's a new article out of the Washington Examiner. Census. Record 51 million immigrants. That's 51 million immigrants in eight years will account for 82% of U.S. growth. Now, instantly, you go, <gasps> because we're talking about that right now. Scott Walker is talking about it, and uh, you've got uh, Marco Rubio is talking about it, and Jeb Bush is talking about it. Everybody's talking about immigration. And this is Scott Walker here, said legal immigration also needs to be reformed to make sure Americans don't suffer by losing jobs to new citizens. So this is a, this is a common argument. A common belief is that when immigrants come here, they steal American jobs. There's two different issues there that they're covering. One of them being we're, they're stealing American jobs, and the second one is they're a burden to our infrastructure. Alabama Republican Jeff Sessions has warned that higher numbers of immigrants will hurt the middle class. He says, it defies reason to argue that the record, uh, that the record admission of new foreign workers has no negative effect on the wages of American workers. It defies reason to believe that. But people get very nervous. They get very scared about this immigration thing. And the, the general rationale or, or reason for this and the, is the same rationale or reason for most fear. It's a lack of understanding or a lack of the, or, or a sense of the unknown. So we don't know what's going to happen and we don't understand it. And so therefore we're very worried about it. And people come out of the woodwork to explain to us why our fears are valid. But I want to take some time in the session today and talk with you a little bit about immigration, explain to you the facts about immigration. Once you understand the economics of immigration and the, 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 in economics in general, this is why the study of economics is so important and why we spend so much time on this show picking individual issues and discussing the economic impact of those issues because without that understanding you are nothing you are victim to every fear monger who wants to tell you that there's no possible way that the admission of new immigrants is not hurting the middle class that isn't depressing wages that isn't stealing americans jobs that isn't burdening our infrastructure right but here's what I want you to understand. We do not have a fixed pool of jobs in America. There aren't a fixed number of jobs that we have right now in America. Just like there aren't a fixed number of dollars to be earned. There isn't a fixed number of companies. But the job market is constantly fluctuating. And as you add workers to an economy, you also add jobs. Now, let me ex explain how this works. The reason for this is because every new worker you add to an economy brings with him a set of needs that would not otherwise exist if that worker was not present. For example, the necessity of food, the necessity of housing, of transportation, of clothing, of simple things like haircuts. All of those things, an influx of new people, requires a new workforce in order to support those people. Likewise, those people would not come to the, a place if there was not work already there. So it's not as though an immigrant is coming here, the, the, the employer is seeing he's got a full workforce, he doesn't need anybody else, and suddenly he looks over there and sees that guy working there and says, oh, uh, th that guy who needs a job, and say, oh, okay, I'll hire you for you know $3 less an hour than I'm paying this guy, and I'll fire these guys. What drives people to move here under a free economic system is the, is the job availability. So what should be done about the flood of 51 million new immigrants? I have no idea. To know the answer to that question, I would have to know what the optimal number of immigrants were for each and every labor field in America. And I don't know the answer to that question. And here's the truth. Nobody else in America knows it either. Jeff Sessions doesn't know it. Scott Walker doesn't know it. Nobody knows the answer to that question. That's why we have a market to tell us what the optimal number of immigrants should be. 
The real issue that we have with immigration in America has nothing to do with jobs. It has nothing to do with depressed incomes or salaries or anything else. It has everything to do with the cost to public resources and entitlements. You see what the uh, what the Center for Immigration Studies said is the number, uh, this number has an important implication for workers, schools, infrastructure, congestion, and the environment is absolutely true. You see, the real pinch on America is in the entitlements. Because those individuals who are coming here, many of them do not have to internalize all of the costs. Does that make sense? Because they're getting freebies or handouts or special privileges because they're moving here, which affects their decision making. Instead of trying to prevent new immigration from coming to the country and adding to our labor pool, what we should be focused on in re is reducing the wealth transfer costs. The costs that you and I, the taxpayer, quote unquote, are forced to pay and instead forcing the immigrant to internalize the, the true costs of coming here. 